Dan the man is here, Dan Orlovsky. We have brought him from New York City all the way out to Bristol. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> Back and Welcome. forth he goes. Uh, week one of preseason, some uh, interesting matchups. What are you looking for? What are you curious about tonight when you watch these games? Play, I feel bad for Derek Carr because Derek Carr has got yeah. two months. I'm not surprised by his actions. He quit on his team in week 17 last year. He use Instagram on a flip phone. Yeah. It doesn't work like that right. anymore, man. And so. there's so many choices yeah. of helmets, and he's refusing to try any of them. And, and, if he, and equipment staffs are all surreal. You John know, you Gruden wonder if this guy wants a play yeah. or not. Yeah. Right? Yeah, John Gruner wanted nightmares. Well, you oh, these two troublemakers, Maria and Holly's excellent adventure continues. Our dynamic duo is in the process of finishing up Lusa, as you can see, to hang out with the Crimson Tide. Uh, Bama holds its first fall scrimmage today after meeting with former heavyweight champ Mike Tyson to talk about how to come back after being knocked out by Clemson in the title game. So a new season begins there, and Taylor and Roe were there to take the temperature of the Tide. That on Sports Center later. <laughs> All right, so Green Bay, whose team is it anyway, right? That's the intriguing question surrounding the Packers. One of the highest paid quarterbacks in the game, future Hall of Famer Aaron Rodgers, and you got a first time head coach. Yeah, after Thursday night's preseason game against Houston, Matt LaFleur was asked about Rodgers' criticisms. Uh, after joking that he and Aaron aren't on speaking terms anymore because of the QB aired some private team laundry out in public, he pretty much conceded that, yeah, Aaron, he's got a few points. Lofsky is back with us, and we sort of know what we're going to get from Aaron Rodgers, and we know he's not afraid to speak publicly about things, whether it be the offense or last year calling out his receivers in preseason, whatever it is, sure. the joint practices. But you know Matt LaFleur. So give us some insight from what you know about him and his personality, about how you think this dynamic could work successfully. Is there from two different quarterbacks, four catches, 84 yards, and a TD. There, see, we can learn something from preseason football. We can. We just want to get it to the regular season. Yeah. <laughs> as quick as we can. <laughs> Dan Orlowski, thank you. Stopped in Tuscaloosa, hanging out with the Tide. Bama holds its first fall scrimmage today after you just saw meeting with Mike Tyson to talk about coming back from that loss to Clemson in the title game. A new season begins, and Taylor and Roe were there to take the temperature of the Tide. Coach, navigating all those tricky waters, like differing opinions on everything. At the soon-to-be world number one, Naomi Osaka, for the first time since their chaotic U.S. Open final last year. Williams, if you'll recall, was penalized a game for calling the chair umpire a thief. During an extended argument, it left fans jeering and both players in tears after Osaka's dominant victory. Serena later apologized to Osaka, and yesterday she met the player, 16 years her junior, at the Rogers Cup in Toronto. Serena's first tournament since losing the final in Wimbledon. Excellence. I can't believe she came back. She is all about competing.